Okay, everybody, <clears throat> what we got here, we have a similar, similar program that we did last time with um, MPU, if you recall it, the MPU and the servo. Now the servo's got a joystick. So yeah, we do the joystick. There we are. Moves left. I only use the X. I haven't used the Y because obviously you don't need. It's not a 3D. It's a 2D. Move, just move flat. Does not move um, <coughs> south, north and south. There we are. So we don't need a Y. We just use the X. Perfect. Okay. Now, let us see the code. Okay, this is obviously it's a ESP um, ESP now, which uh, it does not use wireless. <clears throat> it uses sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. It uses the MAC address, which you get it from the receiver. You get your MAC address here from the receiver. I will add a little program how to you know which um, gets your MAC address as well. Print your MAC address for the receiver. And then you have, once you you have your MAC address from the receiver, let me see. Okay, from the receiver. So <coughs> you get it on your serial monitor. And then what you do you're going to place it by the sender which will be on this side <clears throat> All right you do have two but sometimes also you with this type of program i think one thing you got to be very careful is that uh, if you switch it off and then you put something else on and then you unplug it and you put it back you have to remember exactly the port because what happens sometimes you have to re-swap the port, otherwise it does not work. And whatever you do, do not ever change the um, don't ever change the MAC address because that can become now you got two MAC addresses and you get confused and then it doesn't start because your your port was swapped and now when you start to you know if you you can reset your port, you just swap them around again. But the problem comes when you start to play around with the MAC address as well, then you have problems. <clears throat> because it doesn't work. And I've experienced that. It took me two days to, and I couldn't understand why it wasn't working. Eventually I got it to go again because of the port. And because I also, stupidly, I play around with the MAC address, which I shouldn't have done it. In any case, <clears throat> Thank you very much, and please give me a thumbs up if you like it, or if you understand. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.